Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and this is my creative layout for week 44, October 29th through November 4. And I'm going to be doing a blackout spread this week. And here I'm just laying out the blocks or the boxes for the spread. I'm going to do a um, full column style spread with three parts to each column and then for the weekend it will just be a single full box here I'm punching out some more um, pieces because I'm going to do a bit of a masking for this spread so and here I'm just testing out the white ink to make sure that this is going to work since it's not a distress ink I want to make sure I will get the same effect and I'm just aligning the uh, blocks and positioning them the way I want I didn't want them in a straight line I kind of wanted them to be off a bit and but I'm still trying to allow space for the holes to be punched so here I'm doing the inking around the mask so the white ink just shows in the background And I'm just going around each box making sure that I get ink in between the small spaces between the boxes here I'm using a stencil to add a little texture pattern to the background the illusion of texture just to give it a little more design and not be so flat in the background give it some depth here I'm just transferring over to the other half of the week the full boxes or the full box masks and here you'll see where I was thinking of making a longer box for the weekend days but then I decided to just stick with a single box for the weekends so I'm going to go ahead and ink around these boxes once I get them positioned and taped down correctly Just making sure I get all the spots and again I'm going to use the stencil So now I'm just removing the mask and seeing what we have in the background. I'm going to have to go back in and add a little more of the stencil just to balance things out. And now I'm going in to stamp the days of the week. And I'm a little disappointed in how those stamp I think maybe um, it's because the font for the stamp is such a thin line and also it's 
pretty hard to get this white ink to show up on the black paper. Um, even with holding it down and letting the ink actually soak into the paper, it still doesn't show up as well as I would like. But I continue stamping the days. And then I did go over it um, off camera with a little white gel ink. This is a sticker from Goldmine and Coco. Here I'm just going around the full boxes um, with the white gel ink just to give them a little more definition. and make them stand out a little bit more. And this also helps to tie them in with the sticker since the sticker has the white edge around it. It kind of ties all of that in together. And I wanted the sticker to be my focal point since this is a Halloween, well, one of my focal points. Since this is the week of Halloween, and she's a little witch with green hair and then the black and white tights. And she really stands out on the black background. And I'm just going in and adding a little definition again to the full boxes. Here I'm using, uh, testing out the green gel ink and the orange as well as the purple. And those are what I'm going to use to fill in my week. Here I'm just testing out pencil and my layout for what I want to do for Halloween. And I'm just sketching out my letters. Now I'm going to go in and fill in the dates. And here I'm just filling in my and outlining my Halloween letters. And I broke Halloween up into three rows of letters and just adding a little decoration to the letters, helping those stand out as well. Then of course, <laughs> I'm adding in the ballet days. And I did skip over to Friday because I probably should have started with Friday so that my hand wouldn't smear the gel. So that kind of gave Monday time to dry. And I'm just going over the down strokes to help those letters stand out more. And I also put the laundry on Tuesday, going back in doing down strokes on that as well so that they'll stand out more. And then I always forget to do the ballet on Saturday. And then we also have Nutcracker rehearsal and I will add that as well in the orange. Here I'm just adding uh, my plan lettering for Sunday. And 
and I'm doing like a candy cane style um, for the lettering and I wanted to use the purple to go in between the white but the purple doesn't really show up as well as I would like and I'm just going back over the white sometimes you need to do that with the gel ink just to get it to really stand out and give a solid stroke going in and putting my Sherlock TV watching And on the bottom of Friday, I also put in Midnight Texas to remind myself to watch that because I don't really watch regular TV that much. So, also reminding myself that the time changes on the weekend. So I'm actually looking forward to that. I'm doing the lettering for payday. And then a few things that I can think of that I need to do Monday. I do usually go grocery shopping on Thursday, so I'm putting my Publix reminder. And here I'm going back to the plan since the purple didn't show up. I'm just adding hints of the orange and the green to kind of make it pop a little bit more and adding more to Monday and my usual set out the trash set out the recycling I remembered that I need to watch Charmed on Sunday. And I do have a doctor's appointment on Wednesday that I'm noting. And here I'm going to do a little doodle of a pumpkin. And I'm just putting down my basic lines with pencil. And then I'll go back in with the orange gel ink to fill it in and then the green for the stem and I like that the gel ink really just covers the white ink that I used and I think adding the pumpkin really balanced the spread out that's it now I'm going in and put it in my binder after I punch the holes I do that little partial fold so I can find the center and then line it when I put it in the punch and there is the spread for this week with plenty of room to add things as they come up thanks for watching I'll talk to you later bye